parents are the ones who see the earliest signs and when they are worried about their babies they need to follow up and not take no for an answer and all the families we worked with were basically not taking no for an answer not taking wait and see not taking um, oh you're comparing him to his sibling it's like I have a worry I'm concerned like stay with that I think that's the first message they know their infants and the symptoms that they describe are unusual symptoms and they're persistent and so when families say this baby just does not want to look at me or any other faces that's real and it's something that's going to be hard to see in a pediatric visit but it's something that parents see all day long and so they are the experts on their babies and they need to hold on to that that um, title of expert that's one piece that's important I think the second piece that's important is that it was parents who created the changes that this intervention was carried out by parents in their everyday activities and it was parents who helped their children increase their rate of learning drastically it was parents who helped their children um, learn language and learn communication and learn play and really for most of the children in the study catch up to their peers by the time they were two to three most of the children in the study six out of seven caught up in all of their learning skills and their language um, by the time they were two to three and for most children with ASD they're barely even getting diagnosed by then so that's really a, a very rapid response and parents did that not therapists therapists couldn't have done it because parents are there they're there all day with that baby they and their caregivers and it's really in those little moments of changing, diapering, feeding, playing, going for a walk, being on a swing. Those are the learning moments that babies have, and those are what parents can capitalize on in a way that nobody else really can.